Nick Kelly is an AMS certified broadcast meteorologist. So I would say we still have a tornado on the ground. South and east of Drywood, north of Sheldon, east of 49. We want you all to be in your safe place Tomorrow, right now. A low to elevated, and then it goes to a high once you go into southwestern Missouri. The prime time, 2 o'clock in the afternoon to about 11. Wind and hail, I think, are our biggest threats for tomorrow morning like with the high, the winds around it will really start to come out of the southwest tomorrow. So it'll be a bit of a windy day to start the week ahead, but we'll be in pretty good shape because that southwest wind will mean temperatures going well into the 70s. So we start. You may need the heavy jacket in the morning, but we'll have the sunglasses ready too because we'll have a lot of sunshine throughout the day. It's a nice change of pace to finally say that. 44 by lunchtime. Spots north and west of Joplin, north and west of 44, picked up a quarter and a half an inch of ice. Even a few spots right around Columbus, maybe be picking up six tenths of an inch tops, but that was about it. And then we'll have designated safe spots for people to go should severe weather hit. Thankfully, North Park Mall clearly has their safe spots labeled. The mall staff will direct everybody to the storm shelters across it's going to the feel mall. like summer, even though we kick off fall on Thursday. Highs near up the upper 80s to about 90. We got spoiled a little bit for a couple of weeks there, I think, when it was unusually cool for the time of year. We're getting back to what we should expect. I yeah, at least a few more good days this summer, and we'll see if we can cool things down next week. Sounds like a good plan. Thanks, Nick. As advertised, we ended the weekend on a much chillier note compared to yesterday. And the main reason why, the time lapse from Indigo Sky Casino outside of Seneca, Missouri, pretty much sums it up for you. We had quite a bit of cloud cover today, a little bit more than we were anticipating. And when we have cloud cover this thick and this stubborn not to let go, that is going to make an impact on temperatures. Take yesterday, for example. After the morning round of thunderstorms, we had partly sunny skies, 63 uh, for most areas yesterday. We dropped to near 30. 30 this morning and then because of all the cloud cover the best we could do around Joplin Regional was lower the middle 40s for afternoon highs. We still have the cloud cover outside right now from 7th and range line but thankfully the cloud cover is going to limit how cold we get going into tonight. It doesn't change the fact that it's still a bit cool out there. 41 degrees at the airport feels like 36 with an east breeze at about 7 miles per hour. Everybody is in the lower 40s for the most part but north and west of Pittsburgh and Joplin we have 34 in Iola, 39 already in Yates Center but even if you aren't in the 30s yet, when you factor in that breeze, it feels like most of us are sitting in the middle 30s at the 10 o'clock hour. As we go throughout the course of the night, again, the cloud cover holds firm, and that means we only drop back into the mid 30s by the time we get the morning drive back to work and school underway. And despite the cloud cover hanging tough for tomorrow, we do anticipate a little bit more milder air to work in. That's why we'll go to 48 by lunchtime and hopefully into the mid 50s for tomorrow. We couldn't do that today, at least go into the 50s, because of what's happening down south. There is rain to the south, but we had quite a bit of cloud cover today with a weak but fast-moving wave at the jet stream level passing by just to our south. If we look to the west, though, this is going to be our main weather maker as we go throughout the next few days. This wave along the Pacific coast, that is ready to roll in with plenty of rain chances to go along with it. Thankfully, it's not tomorrow. Moisture out ahead of it will mean quite a bit of cloud cover for us, but we stay dry for your Monday. It's not until that system starts to edge our way. Tuesday, that is when the rain chances will really start to pick up. And you can even argue thunderstorm chances, nothing severe though, as we head into Wednesday. And before this completely leaves us on Thursday, on the back side of this, wraparound moisture could leave us with a few showers late on Thursday. But the main days for accumulating rain isn't tomorrow. It'll be Tuesday by about 7 o'clock with rain amounts close to half an inch. By the time the system's pretty much done with the heavy rain, we can see an inch and a half to about two and a half inches. It all depends on where the rain wants to set up. We'll have to fine tune that over the next few days. For tonight, though, we don't have anything to worry about. So it's going to be a cloudy night. I anticipate us staying dry, but it is going to be a cold start as we roll through the rest of your future track forecast here. 36 in the morning, mostly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow, but we do anticipate milder air to work in, so let's go 48 by lunchtime. Let's go mid-50s for afternoon highs. Most of us are around 55. Let's go 54 Tuesday, 63 on Wednesday. So still a bit of a warming trend despite the rain and thunderstorm chances around. Then on the backside of Thursday, System Lisa, we are looking quite cool going into the coming weekend. All right, we'll break out our umbrellas. Thanks, Nick. <laughs>